Assalamualaikum. My name is Brother Adam. This is our day. Brother um, Jay. I just want to give you like a quick rundown of like how I became Muslim. Um, I'm gonna try to keep it condensed. Are you gonna walk away? Oh no, I'm here in the mix. It's my grandfather. <laughs> so um, actually to keep it short, I um actually bought a one-way ticket to Thailand because I was like, man, I just want to figure out what my life about to do. You know, over on the West Coast, like you know, like you you gotta find yourself and you just trip out and go somewhere. Other places people go to jail. I ain't find Islam in jail. I found some Muslims, and I, but I ain't but I ain't find Islam there for me. But um, I bought a one-way ticket to Thailand and I was out there chilling for like a month and I was kind of like just like completely out of my luck and giving me a real condensed version. So now like I was working, I was dead broke and I was in Thailand, my visa expired, I ain't have nothing, like literally nothing. And then um, I met this young lady on the beach and she was like, hey you, come eat. And I was like, me? And she was like, yeah, you, come eat. Subhanallah. So she came over and she sat down and she handed me a joint and so started smoking. And she was like, uh, she was like, what's your religion? I was like, I believe in God. She was like, do you think Jesus is God? I was like, nah. And she was like, well, you halfway Muslim. I was like, alhamdulillah, all right, cool. So she started trying to like, game me up about Islam and I'm like, yeah, man, like I got like Muslims in my family or whatever, but now like, I don't know. She like, I think you should be Muslim. And I think Allah, he's telling me that I should help you. And I was like, nah, I'm not really the type to get over on people like that. But she was like, nah, I think you need to take this help. You need to take this help. I'm like, nah, not really. Long story short, she keep talking to me and break me down. And then I was like, all right, I'll take your help if you marry me. And she was like, cool. And so basically what happened was, uh, it was like one mosque on the island that we was on, like one little mosque. It's fun like we go to the mosque. Probably like a month later. And uh and it just happened to be somebody there who could officiate the wedding who spoke English. Like, subhanAllah, like, Allah put everything together. Long story short, we stayed in Thailand for like nine months, and then I went to Morocco for like another three months after that. We didn't stay together, but we still cool, mashallah. But um, I came back out here, and I was like, it was like year one. It was like al Hijri for myself, like year one. Uh, that was January 15, 2015, when I took Shahada on, on April 14, 2014. MashaAllah. So, Alhamdulillah. May Allah like keep you steadfast on the dean. I mean, May me, he give you the highest levels of paradise. Me everybody. Add me. Add me. Why, yeah. Y'all make sure y'all hear us now. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. <laughs>